Hello and welcome to this brief training uh, for IB exam invigilators. Um, invigilator is the fancy word that IB uses uh, to mean a proctor or a, an assistant to the exam, and that's what you will be doing. Um, in addition to this video link and this slideshow here that I'm using to conduct this video in your email, you will have a few other things. One is this uh, invigilator schedule, um, and if your name is in green, you're my primary uh invigilator that day if you're in yellow please be on standby uh just in case anything happens to my primary i'm going to try to sort of spread the love here um so that nobody is um invigilating more than once uh, except for uh in rare circumstances um the other thing that you'll see is this uh, big booklet conduct of the examinations booklet this is the booklet that i'll have printed and i will be using during all of the exams um and everything that i'm going to tell you here comes from that uh, document. And I've even um, included some page references here if you want to go back and read, depending on how big of an IB nerd you want to be. Um, but just so you know, this is the official document that guides our examinations. I um, mean, the last thing is a map to exams. Um, all exams will be conducted here at the Carrollton City School Student Services Building, which is just across the street from the upper elementary school. Um, there's a parking lot in the back of the uh, building and you can park in the back and I'll let you in through the door and we'll be there. It's got a really nice quiet space for us to conduct all of our exams. Um, so let me just kind of walk through this here. And if you don't mind, once you finish watching this video, send me an email back to let me know that you have completed the uh, training. And I will also have you sign um, a piece of paper when you come in for your uh, for your uh, volunteer time to indicate that you were trained as an invigilator. Um, so real quickly, one change this year that you guys won't know as a change is that rather than just having beginning uh, morning and afternoon, the IB has designated exact start times for morning and afternoon exams. Those are reflected here in bold on your date. So please make sure that you check that and that you plan to arrive uh, at least 20 minutes early uh, to uh, help me distribute materials and make sure students are arriving. Um, there's the, um, there is the, uh, the address for the Student Services Building. Length of exam times vary. Um, when you signed up using the, uh, the form, the, the time there was uh, indicated, and um, I will be happy to let you know about what time you will uh, be able to escape from um, the confinement of the exam. Uh, but know that some exams are as short as 45 minutes, which means that you'll be out in an hour and some are as long as two and a half hours. Um, so if you're if you're wondering what the finish time is, then uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll let you know for sure. Um, a question that somebody sent in an email is whether or not they can bring your they can bring their laptop. Yes, please do bring a laptop or a book to read. Oops. Um, because there's a lot of downtime. Uh, during this examination. And really uh, the most important thing is just monitoring students, but it's a small group. So you'll have, uh, you'll be able to do the monitoring and the reading if you'd like to. Um, your general role um, will be to be there. Uh, the IB really is um, insistent that we have two adults in the room during exams. Um, that keeps everybody honest. Um, it also makes sure that if I'm not seeing something you are, and if there were some um, either emergency or less serious situation, like somebody needs to use the restroom. One of us needs to go with the student to, to the restroom, not into the restroom, but to the restroom door while the other stays and uh, monitors the, the uh, classroom. So that's a really important thing. Um, the, the big thing is that you'll be there as a support person and as an extra human, um, an extra set of intelligent eyes to keep track of what's going on during the session. Um, exam materials must be secured and monitored at all times so that if I needed to leave the room, uh, you would be um, tasked with just keeping uh, tabs on all the materials. Um, so preparing for the exams, we'll be giving them assigned seats. Most of this I'll have set up before you arrive. Um, as students walk into the room, I will um, hand them a number card. They will go to the seat that designates that number and that will be their assigned seat for the exam session. Uh, that keeps it random. We do need to make a seating chart, which we'll do once the exams start. And that's so that if there were any questions about um, you know, uh, matters of propriety, um, we will be able to go back and see who was sitting where. Um, and I randomize those seat selections upon every exam so that students are always sitting in different places. Um, we'll put some pens and pencils, um, calculators when they're necessary, mints. Students really look forward to having mints on their table. So we'll just make sure that those are all set out in the beginning. Some things to know that these are things that are um, uh, allowed for uh, for exams and things that are not allowed. 
Um, basically, they can bring in with them pens and pencils, rulers when it's time uh, to uh, do the math exam or the biology exam, for example. And then this won't be um, won't be an issue for us. Uh, we won't have translating dictionaries. They can't bring any paper in with them. Um, they can have as much of the exam stationary as they want, but nothing else gets to uh, come to their desk with them. Uh, when candidates get there, they have to uh, stay outside until everybody's present. Everybody walks in together. Um, basically, uh, students aren't allowed to bring anything in except for those things in this list. And also, the, the IB does make special dispensation for a lucky charm. Um, if they bring water in, it needs to be in a sealable bottle so that we don't end up with spills. Um, and then all the other stuff that they have that they bring with them, keys and phones and things, have to be left at the back of the room. Um, and uh, you can have your cell phone on um, just in case of an emergency. Uh, and I will also have my cell phone on. And like I said, once the exam gets underway, if you have a book that you're reading, um, so long as you're looking up every now and then to see what's going on, uh, then you'll be all set. Um, students aren't allowed to talk once they enter the room. Um, they need to be really quiet once the exam session begins and uh, sort of stay silent until uh, exam session ends. Um, when we start the exam sessions, the IB um, will, uh, they send the examinations in these sealed packets. I don't open those packets until the beginning of the exam session. So you'll see me cut open the packet. Um, it's one of the things that you'll write down in the journal. Um, I'll write start and finish times on the board. In fact, actually, I'll run a, a, t a countdown timer and they have five minutes of reading time at the beginning of each exam. Um, this is kind of an interesting thing. They're not allowed to mark, make any marks on the paper during the reading time. It's a chance for them to read the passages or look over the questions or plan and mentally the, the approach that they're going to take. Um, and then once that five minutes is up, we start the test timer and they have until that timer goes off uh, to finish the exam. Um, once the exam begins, uh, I will I will move around and, and write uh, their names down on a seating chart because I know all of their names. But if you can uh, uh, check on that and initial in the appropriate box on the seating chart, um, we'll enter exam start times in the session journal. More on that in a moment. And then every now and then stand up and walk around. These are relatively small groups. So uh, there's a good chance that with you near the back of the room and me near the front of the room that the um, that we'll have We'll have a good line of sight for every student, but um, every now and then just walking around to let them know that we are monitoring. Um, if they run out of paper, we can give them more of those. If they run out of pencils, we can give them more of those. If they needed to be to go to the bathroom, somebody needs to walk to the bathroom door with the student and remain there until the student returns. Um, so everybody sort of once the exam starts has to be monitored at all times. That's the big deal. Um, the exam session journal, this is the big uh, responsibility for you. Um, it really is just a little notebook um, for each exam session. We'll put the uh, date, the name of the exam being given. We'll write down the, the time that the students walk in the room, and then we'll basically record all the events that occur during the time that the students are in the room, um, including if students need to use the restroom or if a student finishes early and submits their exam whenever I give warnings all this stuff gets logged and that way if there's ever a question about the conduct of exams we have a sort of a log um, of what happened um, at all times uh, we've never had any big thing happen during exams and cross fingers crossed it won't and nothing will be different this time um, but if we were to have a student get really sick um, or not be able to continue their exams that would be something that would uh, need to be recorded so that we can get guidance as to what to do about that um, any other anomalies um, and really just uh, a sort of log, minute by minute log of what's happening uh, during the exams. At the end of that, once I seal the exams at the end, then you'll write seal the exams and you can sign the bottom of the uh, journal that you wrote. Um, when the exams are over, I'll distribute these little string tags. They're fancy little things that, that we use to, that the IB uses to attach all of the exams. Um, make sure that everything's organized. We'll get everything collected um, and uh, before anybody moves or talks, everything collected. And then um, I will um, seal the, uh, I'll seal the exams into the, the plastic envelope. They'll be sent back to the uh, IB in. And once that I have sealed the exams, then the exam session is over and students can be released. Um, and uh, the invigilator's instructions to candidates, this is a longer section. This is the sort of script that I will use as I'm reading. 
Um, you can kind of look over that if you like. I plan to read them, but it gives you an idea of the pace of the exam and what sorts of instructions the students will hear. Um, and then uh, once they've left, we'll seal it up in the envelope and uh, write the number of scripts and I'll seal the envelope and you can uh, write Mr. Brewer sealed the envelope. Um, and then after that, nobody has access to the exams. So you can see that part of this is about the control of, of exam materials from the very beginning, from the moment we have access to them, when we cut open the packet to the very end, when we seal the packet um, for mailing. Um, and your, your support in kind of keeping track of where everything and everything that's happening in between is really the most important um, part of that. Um, that is the big things. Um, once again, please check and double check your exam start time because they sort of change depending on the exam day. Some start at 1 p.m., some start at 2 p.m., some start at 8.30, some start at 9.30. Um, and just plan to get to the exam site um, 20 minutes or half an hour early to make sure that we are where we need to be and that everything's, uh, everything's all set up. Um, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to um, to send me an email or give me a call. I'm going to include my cell phone number in the email that accompanies this link um, and uh, we can make it work out. And, um, you know, the reason I have backups is because I know that unforeseen things come up. If you do have something come up, um, please let me know as soon as possible that you won't be able to make your time so that I can coordinate with our backups. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on your assigned date. And I... Uh, Really appreciate your help with this process. Uh, see you soon. Bye.